Hello everyone. Today's verse of the day is Matthew 7, 6. Do not give what is holy to dogs, and do not throw your pearls before swine, or they will trample them under their feet, and turn and tear you to pieces. Some things are just between you and God. Some things you cannot share the world, share to the world. Some things in your faith. The Lord reveals things to you, and you can only share that with particular people. You don't cast it bet before people who will trample it to the ground, who will mock it, who will make fun of it. When we give the gospel out, it is always best to give it out to people, to give out things that people can see in their everyday life. Sometimes the Lord actually lets us see supernatural events happen in our life that bring us to him. But we cannot always share it with everyone. But what we can share is the supernatural events that occur in all of us. Just the fact that we exist takes information. And information does not come from rock, water, and lightning in billions of years. Information comes from RNA, and RNA produces DNA. That is a supernatural event. Some don't see it like that, but it is true. Also, a supernatural event is matter and energy coming into nothing, coming from nothing. Matter, matter cannot be created nor destroyed, neither can energy. But God did it. He created everything. And you're living proof. Another thing, the ebb and flow of your life, the way things get just so hard and so easy that you can always make it. That's a supernatural event. But sometimes the Lord actually lets us see things where the laws of physics have in fact be broken. And we cannot share our testimonies to everything. Sometimes the Lord lets us see miracles as great as a sea being parted or someone being healed on the spot. But we cannot necessarily show it to everyone. If they don't receive it, if you go into a town and they don't receive you, shake the dust off your feet. You can't share everything with everyone. It would actually hurt their faith. Share with them what they can see. Share with them what they can see. I've had an event that occurred, and if you made it to this point, perhaps you can hear my event. Perhaps you can hear it with open mind. But before I believed in Christ, I was sitting with family. I had a, a split-level house, and I had a little Shih Tzu dog. And I took the Shih Tzu, and it was nighttime, about this time of day. <laughs> And I let it out for its last pee of the day. So I go downstairs. I turn off the ADT system. And I let the dog out. And we had a gated a gated backyard. And I and mind you, at this, this point, I was probably age 26. About 12 years ago. Before I knew Christ. And we had a gated yard. I locked, bolted the back door shut. I went to the ADT system, put it on instant. Mind you, if you don't know what an ADT system sounds like with instant, when any door or window is open, it instantly alarms. And it is a loud alarm. Woo! Loudest sound you'll ever hear. Loudest sound you'll ever hear. So I go upstairs and I had a baby gate up at the time, open the baby gate, and I sit down and watch TV. About 10 minutes later, I hear a sound. Beep, beep, beep. And my little dog comes pitter, patter, pitter, patter up the stairs. And I look at my family. I'm like, that's odd. They asked me, didn't you, didn't you set the alarm? I said, yeah. How'd the dog get in? It's like, I don't know. So I went downstairs. 
I looked at the ADT panel. It was still red, armed on instant. So I went down and looked at the door. The door was still bolted and locked shut. Now for someone to unarm the alarm, we would have heard a noise. It went beep. For someone to press the keypad, we would have heard a noise. Beep, 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 beep. All windows were locked shut. The door was locked shut. And anytime there is an entry, with a, any door is open, you get a, a, a simple beep, beep, beep sound. And that's what I heard. A beep, beep, beep sound. But it was still on instant. No one unarmed it. So what happened? Not only did my dog somehow get in a bolted, locked, shut, ADT instant alarm system as the dog walked in, it also made a beep, beep, beep sound as an unarmed. I was an unbeliever at the time. If I didn't have family upstairs that heard the same thing and saw the same thing, I would have just assumed I went crazy. It was a metaphysical event where not only, from all I guess, my dog walked through the wall, but <laughs> the programming on my ADT alarm system was messed with to make a, a unarmed entry into my house, a BBB. Now, whether you believe me or not, it's no mind to me. But that, at that moment, showed me that supernatural things can occur personally in my life. It wasn't that exact moment that I believed in supernatural events. It wasn't until years later, actually. Years later, I recounted what happened after I went through some more, more ebb and flows and something really bad happened in my life. And as the Lord, as I felt his presence, I thought back to that time where he showed me a supernatural event. So it wasn't right at that moment, but it was between me and God. And for me to realize it later, since I'm a scientifically minded man, he revealed it to me early on so that I could process it at a later time. Whether you believe me or not, I do not care. That was for me and God. He showed me that. I like what Jesus talks about, though. Where. I forget which disciple. But. But. He said, unless I put my finger in the hole of Jesus' hand, I shall not believe that he's resurrected. And Jesus came. And he was able to touch his hands and put his hand, his hand into Jesus's. And Jesus said, you believe because I'm here. But blessed are those that believe and who have not seen me. Who have not seen me. Blessed are those who the Lord did not have to show a supernatural event to in their life to believe. But regardless, you even being here is a supernatural event. I guess I say this all just as we go out and about. Not everyone can handle everything that we have to say. Some things are between me and the Lord. Some things are between you and the Lord. But regardless, we can show them the incredibleness of their creation, the incredibleness of the ebb and flow that the Lord takes them through up and down so that they may know him. And that is incredible. I like what Romans says also. Where is it? I also like what Romans 1.20 says. For since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes. 
namely the physics, <laughs> your existence, love, evil, good, the things that you can feel, chemicals, chemistry. His eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen. We have seen that only he could do it. Being understood through what has been made so that they are without excuse. Yeah, so that they are without excuse. Everything is supernatural because God made everything. And scientists will never wrap that up around their heads. So, dear Heavenly Father, just thank you, Lord. May we know what to reveal to people and we know may know what to keep quiet. Lord, just thank you for, for all the evidences that you let us go through. Everything that you do for us to come to know you. And should we never see a, a, a metaphysical miracle, we don't need to, Lord. Faith is all that we need. In Yeshua's name, we pray. Amen.